Okay, so we had a request for a differential reinforcement video, um, more specifically on DRO, DRA, and DRI. Uh, I'm not too surprised. This is one of the more difficult concepts um, I've found for RBTs to really internalize. So um, yeah, I'll try to walk you through it. So differential reinforcement, just to start, what is it? Uh, reinforcing uh, one class of behavior while putting another one on extinction. So easy as that. So one behavior is getting reinforced, the other one's extinct. Okay, so if you ask someone to touch the color red and they touch red, you reinforce. If you ask them to touch the color red, they touch green, you don't reinforce. That's differential reinforcement. This can lead to discrimination and differentiation, which is another video. But the three main differential reinforcement types you need to know are DRO, DRA, DRI. DRO is differential reinforcement of other behavior. In this instance, you're reinforcing in the absence of a behavior. So you pick a behavior, let's say it's screaming. Anytime your client or your student isn't screaming, you're reinforcing. Uh, another example, let's say self-injury. Anytime your client's not engaging in self-injury, you're reinforcing. How is this different? Well, typically we're reinforcing if the behavior's happening. DRO, we're reinforcing when it's not happening. Okay, so this is for really high rates of behavior or really dangerous behaviors. Okay, um, the least it's the most the least common one. It's also not the best to always use because you're not teaching an alternative behavior because you're reinforcing any other behavior except the one that you're trying to decrease. Okay, differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior (DRI). Right, you're reinforcing one behavior that is incompatible with another behavior. Okay, so if I'm trying to get someone to sit in their chair, I'm reinforcing when they're sitting in the chair, but not when they're standing up, walking around out of their chair. Now, how's that different? Well, standing up and sitting down, they're incompatible, right? They can't happen at the same time. If I want you to stop using your hands, I might put something in your hands, in each hand, and then you can't use your hands anymore. Just a silly example, just to make it a little more clear. But just remember, if you ever get confused, sitting down, standing up, incompatible. You're reinforcing sitting down, you're not reinforcing standing up. Differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior. Third one, differential reinforcement of alternative behavior. This is the most common one. It's the one you're probably using the most often. You'll probably use the most often as an RBT. In this case, you're just reinforcing a different behavior, okay? So we want to increase hand raising and decrease shouting out. Well, those two behaviors can happen at the same time. You're able to raise your hand and shout at the same time, but as long as you're raising your hand, we can reinforce you for raising your hand, okay? So we're just looking for a different behavior. We're teaching different behaviors with DRA. If I want someone to request um, a snack more nicely or without hitting, right? In this case, they might walk up and hit you or hit mom, but as long as they're asking with their words, we can give them a snack for asking with their words, right? It's an alternative behavior to the one we're trying to decrease. Okay, so that's DRA. One more you might need to know is differential reinforcements of lower behavior. So all you're trying to do with this is decrease how often a behavior is happening. You're not trying to get rid of it, okay? So if I want someone to speak out in class, but they're speaking out 10 times, and I want them to only speak out a maximum of five, the only time I'll reinforce is if they speak out five times or less during a class, okay? So we can start at 10, we wanna decrease it to eight, decrease it to four, or decrease it to six, and then get it down to five. Not trying to eliminate it, just decrease it, okay? So real quick, differential reinforcement of other behavior, you're reinforcing in the absence of the behavior. Differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior, you're reinforcing a behavior that can't happen when the other behavior is happening, they're incompatible. Differential reinforcement of alternative behaviors, the most common one, you're reinforcing a different behavior regardless of the other behavior, okay? And differential reinforcement of lower behaviors, you're reinforcing to try to decrease a behavior but not eliminate it.